Hello, in this video, we're going to build on the sun path video and now start using solar data to analyze geometry. So in the canvas, I have a weather file URL, the download weather, the import EPW component, and additionally, I have the sun path, which is currently turned off. So I have the preview off. If I put the preview on, you'll see that the sun path is in there. And because I have an analysis period attached to the hours per year input, you can see the um, every hour of the year or an annual analysis period is connected. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the preview. And we're going to analyze the geometry that I have here in the screen. The first thing we want to do is go to the Analyze Geometry section and download the direct sun hours. So we're going to review how many hours of sunlight falls on a surface or a series of surfaces in my building over the course of a year. The direct sun hours component has a couple of inputs. Um, that are required. The first required input is a vectors output from the Ladybug Tools Sun Path. So connect that. And then we need to connect the geometry and the context as geometry parameters. So if you type in geometry, we'll just copy that and make two copies of that. Uh, the first one I will right click and set one geometry, which will be the building that I want to analyze. And then the next, will, I will set multiple geometries for the context. And I'll hit enter. Now, because I don't want to see that red highlighting, I'm going to disable the preview for both of the geometries that I created. And I want to be able to find the building. So if you right click on the icon and you override the geometry text, and there's a little paint bucket right next to there. If you click on that, it will change to text. So you can see that now I know where which geometry is my building geometry. And I'm going to do the same for the next one. And that's my context geometry. So now no matter what, I'm doing, I'll always remember that this is the test building, which connects to geometry, and then my context connects to context. There's two more inputs, actually three more inputs that are required. You need to specify a grid size, so a series of points will be projected on the test building at a spacing that equals um, the units in Rhino. So if I want to have um, a 5 meter by 5 meter spacing, which might be too big, so let's do 1 meter by 1 meter uh, grid size. And then the next in, uh, input is an offset distance. So the offset distance for in this application, I'm going to keep it very close to 0. So I want it to be very close to the surface of the geometry that I'm testing. But if you were doing a floor study and you wanted to get an understanding of daylight hours on a working surface or a standing surface, you might change that offset distance to be 30 inches or 42 inches. In this case, I'm just going to keep it 0 0.01, which would be really close to the actual surface of the building. So I'll connect that. And then the last input you need to do in it needs is a Boolean toggle set to true to run the analysis. So I'm going to drop in a Boolean toggle, connect it to run, and you'll see that it went from orange to gray. That means that my uh, day, my direct sunlight hour calculations are ready to go. So once you click true, it should start calculating. And it took about five seconds to run that. And now you can see that there is a legend here. And you can connect the legend parameters to the legend parameter input, which is the third from the bottom. 
to modify that, but this basically will give you an outline of what the daylight conditions are like or the number of hours of daylight over the course of a year that each surface receives. Now, because you see the geometry as um, overlapping with the grasshopper false coloring, you can, there's two ways you can do this. You can actually, one way to do this is to, in Rhino, go ahead and hide that geometry. So if you go ahead and hide it, it will look much cleaner. And then what you might want to do is actually use the brep wireframe command. So brep wireframe. You can connect the geometry to it and it will create a wireframe which will require a custom preview to make sure that that outline is actually red and not pink. So we'll add a color swatch that is set to black and connect that there. In this way, uh, even though the geometry is physically turned off in Rhino, you can mimic the outline in, uh, in Grasshopper and have your daylight hours component false color those surfaces. And this way you can get a really clean image of your geometry. And that's the video. And thank you so much for watching.